In today's video, I'm going to go over how to enter dimensions in Revit. When someone first starts out in Revit, I always see people doing this the hard way. And when I show them the unique ways that Revit has available to enter dimensions, they get excited. So I hope you get excited too. So I'm working in Imperial, so feet and inches. So Revit's default out of the box is that feet are default. So, so this temporary dimension here comes up. If I type in just 10, just plain 10 and hit enter, it's gonna go to 10 feet. So if I wanted it to be 10 inches, I need to actually type 10 inches. I'm gonna hit cancel on that. Uh, so so another, <laughs> another way to enter dimensions is to use the space bar. So let's say we wanted 10 feet, 10 inches. You can type in 10 space 10, enter, and it's gonna go to 10 foot 10. You can also enter a fraction. So 10 space, 10 space, 5 eighths, enter. 10 foot 10 and 5 eighths. You can do that all without adding the feet or inches symbol. Let's say you just wanted it 5 eighths. Uh, let's draw a wall here. You can say 0 space 0, 5 eighths, enter. And then you have 5 eighths of an inch. Okay. Something else that is unique is you can enter a formula in these. Uh, you can do this anywhere. So if you're changing the size of anything, the thickness of a wall, the size of a door, all you need to do is put the equal sign first. And then let's say we want to do 10 feet. Sometimes with these formulas, you do have to put in the symbol plus two foot five and a half. And then it added that up for me and moved it to the right spot. You can also throw in some metric forms of measurement as well. Then the equal, let's say 12 feet plus three centimeters. Enter, and then we have that factor, that figured out for us. So that's the simple and easy way to enter dimensions. I hope that this made your life easier and quicker when you're working in Revit. Thanks for watching.